Hey guys, um, just doing a video review, this time something a little bit different. Um, this is Bio Aqua Activated um, Carbon Charcoal Face Mask. Um, someone has asked me to review this stuff. Um, it's sort of been semi trending on social media, I suppose, um, where you can see loads of videos of people pulling this face mask away and it's pulling out all of this sort of dead skin and sebum and um, like white heads and black heads and all of that sort of stuff. Um, alongside that people have been going oh my god this is the most painful face mask I've ever had on my face and it's pulling their face off and all of this stuff so someone sort of sent me a message saying could you do a review um, showing basically whether it's true whether it's not true um, and whether it is as painful as it is or whether it's a bit of a um, dramatization so I thought I'd give it a go um, this is the one that keeps cropping up or seems to be like the branded one so I thought I'd order this stuff I've used it already I won't tell you how it was and um, what I'll do is I'll show you live on camera I suppose how I put it on um, and then we'll wait a little bit take it off and see whether it works as you can see I do not have flawless skin um, I have like dry skin oily skin I think it's called combination skin um, I've got spots I've got everything um, so I'm not flawless so this will be an interesting test um, I like to have dry skin here um, like dry skin here but then oily skin up here so it's just weird um, and I am expecting to apply this and for it to literally peel off loads of dry skin because that's what I suffer from so I suppose let's go ahead and take a look now I don't know about you guys, but this is obviously from China. Um, applying stuff on your face that's come from another country where the chemicals that they're allowed to use um, and the sort of laws they have in place in terms of testing, it's completely different. So I don't know how wise it is to use something that's come from another country and may not have been tested as well as you, the sort of standards in your own personal country uh, but hey ho I suppose if people are saying it's really good let's give it a go it's meant to like I'll show you the box it's got like pour deep clean on here and on the back it's got remove blackhead masks and it's it's meant to be the most amazing thing in the world apparently so I suppose let's give it a go so open it up um, and you have l this gloopy mess so I suppose might as well get it started and apply this to my face I am not applying it in any technical fashion I'm sure as you can tell because I'm not an expert at this I'm not a beauty blogger I am just Mr. Joe Blogs who likes to review stuff so I suppose let's start applying you guys get to watch me apply this stuff to my face hopefully you're not throwing up as we speak um, I don't know how much I'm meant to apply because obviously there's no instructions. I've seen people apply this stuff and it looks like they just apply tons of it. So I'm guessing I need to be a bit more generous with how much I apply. I'm assuming my entire face should be like black and we should not be able to see any skin. There we go, let's go. Generous. Right. Keep applying. My nose is quite bad, I suppose. I always get like dry nose. So I'm guessing I should apply lots there. Uh, any beauty bloggers out there, please feel free to message me with your recommendations on how well I have applied this 
um, I'm using the uh, professional tool in the industry known as a finger. Um, I think I'm doing an excellent job. I'm sure people will tell me otherwise. Okay, so let's keep on applying. I mean, I think I've used like a quarter of the tube already. It's quite a lot. Just applying this to my face. So, don't, if I'm meant to apply this much, I have no idea how long it's going to last because I've watched a few videos on YouTube on people doing this and they applied like loads. Well, say they applied loads, I'm assuming they applied loads because their face was like completely black with this face mask. So, right. Guessing that's. Maybe a bit more here. Right, so that looks about right, right? So it's quite sticky um, in comparison to like the boots tea tree stuff this feels a fair bit stickier and a bit more gloopier um, it's stinging my face a little I don't know whether I should be worried um, but it's stinging my face a little bit so maybe I will um, maybe I should be worried I don't know um, I suppose right I've applied it rather than you guys watching me look like a numpty for 20 minutes while it dries um come back in 20 minutes um once it's dried and then i will have an attempt at peeling this off and we'll see how painful or not painful it is right so see you guys in 20 minutes right guys um back so it's been about 30 35 minutes now um and it feels like my face is like completely stretched so um, I suppose let's have a go at peeling this stuff off and seeing how good it is slash how painful it is. I suppose if I try and come up close and stop peeling. Yeah, so unfortunately I am not screaming in pain. I'll try and keep it in one piece so we can see how good it has been in terms of taking off all of the crap that was on my face. Got it almost done. And you can see it's got a bit of a pull to it. It's pulling the skin. But was it the most painfulest thing I've ever done? No. So right let's take a look at this where's the bit that was on my nose right has it pulled off lots of crap um let's show you okay so if i bring this up close so you can see it has pulled off stuff and my nose was the bit that was the worst which is that bit there and yeah I suppose it has pulled off stuff has it let's take a look at my face I've got a mirror here has it pulled everything off no so I'll show you look so there you go you can see so where it's pulled the skin it's just left it all really dry um, and it's pulled the flakes off but I would then have to go and wash my face and scrub it again and uh, to get all of this sort of dry skin that is pulled off the surface so i suppose in one way yes it has helped because i suppose it's lifted that dry skin off the surface of the skin um and then in another sense it probably hasn't just put it completely off onto the mask so it therefore means i have to go away and scrub my face again i'm just trying to look at this and seeing what it has pulled off and there we go that's that's my nose um, and yeah it's done an okay job has it pulled everything off my nose no again I'll give you a good look there you go look so you can still see there's loads of stuff on my face um, so it hasn't done this amazing job that everyone sort of 
says it's a miracle face mask so actually you're probably if you're paying loads of money for this it's probably not worth it you're probably just better off washing your face with a exfoliating thing or alternatively buy a cheap face mask or relatively inexpensive one use that and then go and scrub your face anyway um, and that'll do, probably do the exact same job so um, to the ratings then it's, it's a good face mask I mean it, it made my skin feel really tight and then I pulled it off and it got lots of rubbish some rubbish off my face um, it's probably about a three or a four out of five if it did like what everyone's saying it does and you know it like made me scream in pain because it was literally pulling stuff out of the pores of my skin yeah I'd probably get a five out of five but I'd probably say this is slightly better than your average face mask that you would get from like the supermarkets and stuff so it's it's nothing to really be shouting about or to be super impressed by so that's the end of my review guys as always thanks for watching